up, YouTube? Joe here. On a Memorial Day. 2013. Hope everybody has had a wonderful weekend. We here in Tennessee have had just a, uh, a blessing of good weather for the weekend. A little housekeeping. I am smoking my little Savinelli Cricket pipe. It is leather wrapped and uh, has like a 7 8 inch diameter bowl on it. A little, um, mm, little pot billiard shape, I should call it. And in it I'm smoking some McClellan's Aurora. One of my new favorites. Well, I, I said it the last time, but I wanted to say a big thank you to all you veterans out there who, for serving so that we have the freedom, freedom to do what we want to do, make videos that go all around the world, or smoke a pipe, or, or whatever. And, um, you know, and a special thanks to those who's, uh, who have family members who have given the ultimate sacrifice of their life in service to this country. It's, it's just amazing, it's just, it's mind-boggling to me not having had the opportunity really to serve because I, I started working at the ripe old age of 12 years old and maybe I think I've told this on YouTube before but I had to because uh, my mom uh, was ill for a number of years and a lot of medical bills and everything. My dad said, you know, if you want anything, you really, son, going to have to work for the things that you want, not the things you need, because he was going to provide the things that I needed, basic food, shelter, and everything. But there are things that I wanted, you know, I was going to have to work for it. So I got a job in a restaurant, started working, then then radio at the age of 15, and then television, and then now pipe making. <laughs> And through the years also have uh, became an ordained minister and uh, served in a church for a number of years. So I've had a lot of things that, that I've done, uh, but it doesn't compare really at all to the, to the service that, uh, that those folks in, in our military uh, service have, uh, have given. And I wanted to pay a uh, special tribute to my... Uncle Herbert Seiler, that's him, uh, who served during uh, World War II and just died uh, a couple of years ago um, at the ripe young age of 96. He was a great guy. He and my Aunt May, who I'll tell you more about in a second, uh, retired a number of years ago while I was still young. And moved to a home that uh, he literally built himself on the Tennessee River. And I had some good times going up there on the weekends. Uh, my family and I would go up and my Aunt May would cook. Lord have mercy, she'd cook. My Uncle Herbert, uh, he had a pontoon boat, a runabout boat, and a fishing boat up there that he kept in a dock. And when I'd come up, we'd come up on a Friday and Saturday morning, my Uncle Herbert and I would get up real early in the morning and head out on that fishing boat, and we'd go back in off the Tennessee River on some creeks, I think there's Cub Creek and those areas, and we'd catch a mess of crappie, oh my goodness. We'd come back, he had a little shack, a little fish shack, if you will, uh, next to his house, where he cleaned fish all the time. He cleaned those fish, and then he had a big old deep fat fryer outside. He'd fry up those fish while my Aunt May was cooking up vegetables. Some of us call it country food, some of us call it soul food, some you know, whatever. It was it was comfort food. You know, lima beans and corn and mashed potatoes and black eyed peas and oh my goodness, I could go on and on. But um those were some fun times in my life. 
times I'm going to truly miss. But uh, he, he did, he served his country, and I'm, I'm proud to say that he was my uncle. I'm proud even more so that to say that he was a, a, an American who served his country. I really appreciate that. Speaking of Aunt May, my Aunt May is now 94 years old. And we went to visit her this past weekend. Here's a, a visit of our, our picture of our visit. And uh, we're showing her some pictures on my iPhone. She's, she's just amazed that the pictures are on telephones now. And, and she's uh, unfortunately in hospice care. Um, she's got heart failure and things like that, but she's 94. And she said uh, to me when I was there, she said, Joe, I'm just ready to go home. She's ready to be reunited again with uh, her husband, Uncle Herbert, and a son of theirs who passed away in his 50s. And we all have the same faith from a Christian faith belief that we will be reunited again. And she, uh, she believes that strongly. And I know it's probably just a matter of time now because she's refused all medication and everything. And um, so... You know, send your prayers, your thoughts, your mojo, her way and our way as a family uh, for that. But uh, a little story again about her. Not only was she a wonderful cook. Oh, my gosh. She would cook when we'd go up there on, uh, to the house on the river. She'd cook those things I, I told you about. And then she would also cook a banana pudding and a chocolate chest pie to die for. I mean, incredible. She'd always cook an extra chocolate chest pie because our kids wanted an extra one to take home. For me, I, I, I demolished the banana pudding and there was none left to take home. <laughs> but it was that old-fashioned banana pudding. You know, it probably had 10 tons of butter and four barrels of sugar and all that kind of stuff in it. I didn't care. But it was fantastic. It wasn't that kind of je uh, 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 banana pudding that, no offense to Jello, but you know the Jello pudding. You know the mix up and you pour in a, over a, a couple of vanilla wafers and cut up some bananas and put it. No, it wasn't that. It was homemade, baby. Everything. And back years ago, when I was a young boy, again, uh, my mama being ill and a lot of medical bills. Uh, she and my Uncle Herbert were, were, man, I tell you what, they probably had the first penny they ever earned. And they were comfortable. I wouldn't call them rich, but they were very comfortable. And they were very giving people. She still would be today if she could. But uh, she used to, I remember just the little things, like she would come and get me before school started and take me for two, three, four years in a row there maybe when, 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 my, when my dad was at the, his, his toughest time financially it would take me to buy my school clothes for the year. Old J.C. Penny Company, downtown Jackson, Tennessee is where it used to be. Standalone, not in a mall, but a standalone uh, on a city block, you know. I remember she would get me tennis shoes, get me KED tennis shoes, K-E-D, KED tennis shoes, and PF flyers. Anybody remember those? Run faster, jump higher. I think I did. I really do. But the two of them meant an awful lot to me. She she took care of me. She, she you know, saw after me, called, made sure I was okay. She was like a second mama, really was. I keep saying past tense, but, you know, she is and always will be in my heart. So I, uh, I miss her now, miss her from her, her, the presence that she had back when she was healthy and vibrant. And I know, you know, the great thing about visiting with her this past weekend was uh, that the fact that her mind was still sharp. And, you know, she remembered the funny story. I walked in, and 
you know, it's it's one of those things where you don't really want to go, hey, how are you? But I did anyway. Uh, how you doing, Aunt May? And she said, oh, for a person my age, I guess not bad. <laughs> and I, I said, well, how old are you, Aunt May? And I, I couldn't remember. I just want, I was kind of quizzing her to see maybe where she were, where her faculties were. And she said, without blinking an eye, she said, a hundred four. <laughs> and I said, you know, I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to say, I'm going to go with it. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what, but within a few seconds, she said, oh, I, I'm not a hundred, I'm 94. And I went, oh, good. She still, she still got it. And, and my thought is that maybe somewhere along the way, maybe earlier that day or something, she said, I'm, a, I'm 94, but feel like I'm 104 or something, you know, whatever. And that 104 stuck in her stuck in her mind, but she remembered things, she remembered names, she remembered everything, it's just her body is given out, and uh, you know that happens, and um, life happens, you just got to be ready, just got to be ready. So uh, I know I've, I've, I've mentioned some of that on Instagram, uh, whatever, before, and thank all of you who are on Instagram who sent wonderful thoughts and mojo and prayers uh, our way, and uh, I'll keep you updated. On that, but again, back to the main reason for the video is thanking all those veterans, those who gave their lives in service of this country. As we remember everyone on uh, this Memorial Day, and I just wanted to smoke a pipe and salute those of you who are still around and who have served our country. You, you may not really know what it means to the rest of us, but it means a lot. We appreciate it. I'm sure I'll see you again sometime this week. Uh, if for some reason I don't get to make a video because I'm going to be very, very busy, we're headed to Marietta, Georgia uh, for Saturday's Southeastern uh, YouTube Pipe Presenters Conference, Marietta at Tobacco World in Marietta, Georgia. And... I uh, hope to see a lot of you there. I know a lot of you have said you're coming. I hope you bring your Joe Case pipe with you. And uh, some of you I'm bringing Joe Case pipes down that you have uh, purchased and asked me to bring down and that I made for you. And I probably have a couple at least uh, that uh, have not been taken by anybody. Maybe showing those this week to show what, they, what they're going to be. Okay, but that's it for now. God bless you all. Time to get to work. We'll see you next time.